Paul, what foolish mistakes do you see other independent filmmakers making that really bothers you? Maybe you bite your tongue, you don't say anything, but it tweaks you a little. I don't know. Yeah. There's a few. Um, one that really bothers me is when uh, filmmakers go about things in a way that doesn't make sense anymore, like with distribution. Uh, a number of filmmakers I know have said, well, we need to get distribution, so we're going to hire a rep. And a lot of, because there's not a lot of advances these days from distributors, reps who are supposed to work for percentage have started asking for retainers. $5,000, $10,000. Oh, no, but it'll come out of my 10% at the end, which they'll never, they'll never get that. They'll never get an advance. You know, we take, I take 10%, I want $10,000 up front. I'll give you a $100,000 advance. Never going to happen. Never going to get a $1,000 advance. So these filmmakers find themselves in a position where they feel like they have to find $5,000 or $10,000 to pay a rep to, to sell their film to distributors when they probably could just do it themselves and save themselves $10,000. Or put $10,000 toward, get an aggregator, which you can approach by yourself and put $10,000 towards that or put $10,000 towards, put towards anything else, put towards, you know, orthodontia or whatever. So they're suddenly looking for this money. So they'll, so they'll go to Kickstarter and they'll crowdfund They'll crowdfund money for their rep. And like, we have to hire this rep. We need $5,000 and then we'll find distribution. And I'm thinking, how are you going to pay for your delivery costs, which are five to $10,000? And so they do this and they're out there trying to find money this way. And I, I just like, it's so painful because I'm like, it's, it, you're, you're asking all your friends and family that one favor for cash to pay the middleman who's screwing you. That frustrates me. And I've talked a few people out of it that have told me they're going to do that. I'm like, just don't do that. A few people I know have done it and it, they've already done it. They're already doing it. And I'm like, I can't, like, oh, I can't really tell them that they're doing that. And I, you know, and then I like, do I contribute to their campaign? They're friends of mine. <laughs> do I throw money away? And, you know, do I pay their middleman? It's very frustrating. That's, that kind of thing is super frustrating, you know. And that, anything else? That's, that's the biggie that comes mm. top. That, that comes off top of my mind. That's the big one. Um, mm -hmm. Another one, a thing that filmmakers do sometimes, is they say, well, we're going to go to a small festival first and then work our way up to Sundance. And they for, don't realize that once your film is played, like, you know, Sundance has, you know, the, the, the whole thing, uh, premiere status. Sundance wants the premieres. So you probably weren't going to get it anyway, but now that you've played at the Duluth Film Festival, you're, you've completely You've actually eliminated, you're no longer qualified for Sundance.